wreck. They thought she fell whole, and she raised hell underwater, too hard to find under pressure. In time, they found Mary split in two, seated near the surface. Her floated corpse a hundred steps apart, unlucky miles from Radio Rapids. Bills intact and still valuable in spite of degradation, tossed away like scattered pennies for the beggars. Mary dropped everything in one giant ejector seat. She rests in pieces. Brand new bacteria, logical warfare, shoes and boots and blood solvent, waterside. She was seen by science and old men saw museums, a slow dementia knocking holes in ozone, piles of rust on the seafloor. Mary's daughter crawls her corpse for buckets, paving the way to survival. Legacy. Popular culture. Mary's not forgotten, drawn in books by stark, sad poets intolerable. Her horrors rendered silent by the giants, ignored by fictional memoirs, called from the breast of democracy. Mary is a fine old sight for visuals, seconds from disaster and closer to God than thee. Her corpse is hiding behind boarded decking. Real quiet women failing Nazi propaganda. Historical lies we hide behind and still remember making money from tragedy. Mary's memorabilia crying in the foreground. Everybody wants you in the gutter. Legends and Myths she was never meant to be unsinkable, though built with big hips and virtually unstoppable. She was always changing songs upon the radio, nearer to death than God. They said she spoke in code, they signalled her hands in semaphore. Memorials and Monuments Mary is remembered with laws and huge erections all across the British Empire. Individuals from hometowns buried in the cold black ground. The music never died. Museums Mary is shown in broom cupboards, starting in sites where long legs once divided. Beaches and southern museums, the first boatload of lost souls and failures not remembered. She's still shown stateside, secret societies with strong arms. Real cool sailors in middle America, Mary's body doubled with pigeon-headed sisters freezing in the ocean. There are more, building walkways through first-rate cafeterias, walking in drag down Egyptian alleyways, seven sandy slabs hidden in the desert. Seaside palaces banked on recoverables, fished out like beer cans and hammered into old oak panels, coffins buried in the cemetery. 100th Anniversary Commemoration They shot heat seekers burning up the skies, horny in Northern Ireland, clapping hands for a moment in time. They sang praise for Mary, still nearer to God than anyone. They milked her for all her major movements and resold 3D glasses. They aired short dreams on international TV based on Mary's living parasites. They staged cold disasters and sang hymns on dark stars all over Liverpool. Meanwhile, royal blood runs deep through songs of night, hallucinating holograms of Mary, Mary, Mary. They cruised across her footsteps, staying silent in dark waters as rain pummeled metal plates on birthdays. Museums opened brand new doors, doors for the dead and the dying. There were more documentaries told in coded books and synthesized robotic social networks. She sent messages over oceans from one old man to another, minute by casual minute. And Mary shared stories miles off the coast and starting all over again. <laughs>